Good afternoon. Welcome back to high school online class. Uh, in our previous videos, we promised to make some videos on the velocity ratio of uh, some machines. So today we'll be talking about the velocity ratio of the wheel and axle system. Velocity ratio. Ratio of a wheel and axle system. Now, the wheel and axle system is usually employed to to lift a body. To a particular height for example when you draw water from a well it can be used let's put up a little drawing to let us understand how it works um let's assume you have uh, have this sorry sorry So, let's assume this is the load that is being lifted, and this is the effort. So, as the as the wheel, this is the wheel, and this is the axle. So, as the effort is being applied, pulled downwards, the, the load actually goes up. And because the wheel and axle have the same axis, so the number of turns made by this wheel is equal to the number of turns made by the axle since both of them have the same axis. Now, recalling that the velocity ratio of any machine is equal to distance moved by by the effort uh, x subscription e all over distance moved by the load s subscription l so distance moved by the effort is the same thing as the distance around the core surface area of this cylindrical workpiece or system which is equally a circle so if we have this at the cross section cross section of the wheel of diameter d and of radius capital r the capital d and capital r the distance moved by that of the effort is equal to the circumference of the cross-sectional area of the axle, which is equally a circle of radius small letter d, sorry, sorry diameter small letter d, and the radius small letter r. So applying this, the circumference of a circle, of the circle, of the cross-sectional cross section of the axle, sorry, of the wheel, is given by x e equals 2 pi capital r that of the load is equals to 2 pi small r so that the velocity ratio of the wheel and axle system is equals to 2 pi r capital r over 2 
by small r. This can cancel this. This we have a left with capital R over small r. Or is something as multiply the up and down by two r times two small r times two. That will give us two capital R two over over two small r equals to two times capital R is capital D divided by two times small r is small d. So this ratio of real analysis system is just the ratio of the wave diameter to that of the axle diameter. Thank you.